All right, so it's gonna be your first 30 days as a real estate agent. So we're gonna focus on some things that you should really dive in on if you wanna survive in this business. So with real estate, the very first thing you have to do is move fast because slow speed in this business will kill your career. Here's why. As a real estate agent, I don't know if you have a ton of money saved or not, but when I got into it, I didn't. And if I didn't make money quick, I was gonna be out the door before I even had a chance to establish myself. And that's what happens to a lot of real estate agents. They get involved with this career and they try and they, they do their best, but they simply do not get off the ground fast enough and the plane crashes into the woods. That's just an analogy, but that's what happens to these people's careers. They don't last because they can't make commission fast enough. So the first thing you're gonna have to do as a real estate agent is build your skills. That's the very foundation of your whole entire career. So as a real estate agent, most agents don't have high skill sets. And if you wanna launch your career fast, you need to develop a strong skill set. You need to build the foundation of your career strong. You have to make it strong. And you have to focus and you have to study and you have to become the best. Because if you don't become the best, you're gonna be competing with people who are the best and you're simply gonna get smoked. And if you, that happens enough times to you, you're not gonna last in this industry. Another thing you have to focus on is committing 100%. Burn the boats, as they like to say. When you get into this career, so many people do it and they wanna get in and they wanna really make things happen, but they're still hanging on to a part-time job or they're doing something that's distracting them from committing to this 110%. And I understand you might have financial obligations and, and you know it's tough to just walk away from everything and go to 100% commission. I totally get it. I was afraid of doing that same exact thing. But what you have to realize is if you don't commit 100% and burn the boats, you're gonna be giving yourself excuses not to do the hard things that it takes to become successful as a real estate agent. For example, if you have a secondary income that's keeping you safe and keeping you out of trouble, you might not pick up the phone one day and you might not make the calls that you need to make every day because you don't have to. Because you know that worst case scenario, if you don't get a sale this month, it doesn't matter because you have your second income covering your expenses. So it's not the end of the world. What I highly recommend is you commit 100% and commit to being the best at this. If you can commit to being the best and studying your craft, you're off to a good start. So striving to the, be the best in real estate is really important because you might not be the best the first 30 days and, and you're never gonna be the best for the first 30 days. I've been doing this for five years and I'm still constantly learning new things about this industry. But what I want you to do is develop the mindset of you're gonna be the best in your industry. You don't wanna be average because average agents don't make money. You want to be the best. And if you're the best, you're gonna kill it. And you're gonna crush it and you're gonna do very well and you're never gonna to have to worry about failing out of this industry. Let's talk about number two. Number two is all about taking action and doing the work. So, so many real estate agents get into this and they think it's gonna be this glamorous thing where they just come in and start making boatloads of money. And that's further, that couldn't be further from the truth. Agents need to understand that you need to come in and you need to take massive action to make things work. If you don't take massive action, nothing's gonna happen. And you also have to figure out with massive action comes massive prospecting. As a real estate agent, the number one income generator is prospecting. Now you might be asking yourself, what is prospecting and how do you do it? So prospecting is basically just making outbound calls to people that you know or people that you don't know and asking them if they want to buy or sell real estate and also helping them with the process. So here's the thing you should commit to at least three hours a day of prospecting. If you don't commit to a consistent schedule of prospecting, you're gonna have what I call the real estate roller coaster. So many agents experience this. This is when your income goes up and then down, and then up and then down. It's very inconsistent, and even if you're making money, it causes a lot of real estate agents to quit the business because Having an inconsistent income like that can cause a ton of anxiety. 
I remember when I first got into the business, I asked myself, like, how can I make this a consistent income? How can I make this steady? And I didn't know how. You know, I would have months where I sold two or three homes and then for the next two or three months, I sold zero. And I watched all that profit go down the tubes because, you know, even if I made $8,000 or $9,000 in one month, the next two or three months I had zero. So really, how much did I make? I was just spinning my wheels. And so many agents get caught up in this struggle and I want you to commit to daily prospecting so you can avoid this altogether. If you can commit to three hours of daily prospecting, you can avoid the real estate roller coaster. So when it comes to prospecting, you're gonna have to figure out how to time block because what's gonna happen is you're gonna prospect and you're gonna do a lot of this outbound calling, but when you're doing the outbound calling, things are gonna start sliding into your schedule. So you're gonna get busier and busier and clients are gonna to wanna to see houses you know, during the day or they're gonna to wanna to see the houses at night. And before you know it, you're gonna have a really chaotic schedule if you don't do this one thing. And this one thing is called time blocking. So many real estate agents that are doing high numbers and high volume rely on this. This is the number one reason why they have massive success. Focus on time blocking because if you don't focus on time blocking, your schedule is gonna run you and ruin your entire day. And you're not gonna have time to prospect, which is gonna to lead to more inconsistent income. Number three, this is all about attacking hot leads. So as a real estate agent, not all leads are created equal. Some leads are gonna be much more motivated and much more ready to close at a rapid pace than others. For example, as a new real estate agent, if you need commission now, I would highly recommend that you focus on for sale by owner and expired leads. These are people that already raised their hand, they already identified themselves as people that wanna sell property, and your job is to go out and prove to them that you're the person to help them do that and achieve their goal of selling their house and moving to the next location. If you can prove that, you're gonna get commission checks very quickly. The problem is there's a lot of real estate agents that are going after these leads as well and they're experienced real estate agents. So that goes back to step number one. You have to build your skills. Set, spend a certain amount of time a day prospecting and practicing, and then spend a certain time that you have in the day, time blocked to training, education, and building your skills. If you can focus on both of these and then combine them, you're gonna have a beautiful thing. Because when you're not prospecting and practicing what you learned, you're gonna be actually learning more information. So you're testing what you're learning in real life and that's how you can go from an amateur agent to being an experienced agent in a super compact amount of time. I hope this video helped you out. Hopefully this gets you off the ground your first 30 days as a real estate agent. My first 30 days as a real estate agent, I did so many wrong things and I made so many headaches for myself. I'm hoping that this video gives you a quick jump start into your new career and I hope you find a ton of success going forward. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, definitely subscribe, hit that like button, comment below. There's gonna be a lot more uh, videos coming out on entrepreneurship, real estate, and personal finance. So stay tuned. Thanks so much.